You know, life is about gratitude. I am so grateful to be here amongst all of the nominees and to be a cheerleader in the wings, just cheering them on. All heavy hitters here, to be in the collection with them is unbelievable. It honestly makes me feel so honored, truly. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of old friends, a lot of new friends. The fact that we all get to celebrate each other's work and, and take a moment out of our busy schedules to do so is a wonderful thing. I'm just happy to just see everybody and celebrate the work that all of the people have done this season. It's been a really beautiful season of theater. It's such an exciting moment and an exciting time in theater to be able to celebrate Broadway at this time coming out of the pandemic and just being around all of this creativity and talent. It's overwhelming, but in the best way possible. Well, it's great to get to represent the show, um, which is also nominated today. It's been spectacular work, and it's, I mean, I know how hard he's working. I know what i know what it's doing to him. I know how much it fatigues him. I've seen because she's getting up with her daughter in the morning and <laughs> getting her off to school. So no, that I can no but so just so to know how hard he's working and to see the joy on the audience's faces every night. I've been to see the show, I don't know how many times, like five times, six times, something like that. It's incredible. Right now I'm playing Guinevere in Camelot uh, at Lincoln Center Theater. And it means the world to me to be able to tell this story, um, especially at this time. And to just know that this is a community that supports each other and loves each other, um, I feel really grateful and lucky that I get to be here. And with that ham, all we want to do is like, inspire audiences to feel joy, to feel happy to be here, to be present. And the show does that, so we're really excited about that. I think my uncle had my father killed. Yeah! Now my father wants me to kill my uncle. Split him open! Like revenge? What are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna kill someone. Do whoever it is, do it. You want some help? You're intense. I'm expressing! I play Juicy and Fat Ham. It's a reimagining of Hamlet, sort of like a remix um, set at a, at a black family's cookout. Um, and it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's an emotional roller coaster. It's really funny until it's not funny anymore, and then it's really sad until it's not anymore. I'm glad to be here for a show like that. Juliet plunges Romeo's dagger into her heart. What if Juliet didn't die? That should almost be the start of the play. Hit me, baby, one more time. I think what's so special about Anne Juliet every night is we see a variety of ages that come to the show. And by the end of the show, eight-year-olds and 77-year-olds are up on their feet and there is a glimmer of hope in their eyes. There's an idea about how we can all become better people. And it is just this like joyous, joyous celebration of life that we all need and want right now. Oh my God, I'm nominated for a drama league. Are you kidding me? Today is probably the first day I woke up and I felt like I did a good job. I did a damn good job. And today I'm gonna go and celebrate and be celebrated. What's your hurry? You gave me such a trot. I thought you was a ghost. Half a minute, can't you sit? Sit your dance in. All I met is that I haven't seen a customer for weeks. My first revival, uh, there's a lot of pressure. You owe it to those that have done it so brilliantly before you to um, to not mess it up. And then on the other hand, you owe it to them to bring something fresh and to, to bring something to it that is uniquely yours. And, uh, and you always have to think to yourself, yes, we want people who've seen it a lot of times to enjoy our version as well. But really, more importantly, you want people who are, this is their first Sweeney Todd, this is their first sometimes Broadway experience, to really walk out of there floating. Broadway is the community for the world in terms of people coming and being able to share, enjoy the culture, the art that is Broadway. And we're seeing it with the shows. There are several shows that are so fabulous on Broadway and off that create that type of uh, in inspiration. I grew up, it was a, it was a, not an easy time uh, in my life. The theater was what saved me. That is how I found my community. It's the first time I ever felt seen and valued and understood by a group of people in a very profound way. You know, we have a pre-show before that starts and I get to make contact, eye contact with everyone. So it absolutely feeds me. It feels like we're holding hands and walking through the play together. Just uh, grateful to be back in this community again. And like, you know, it's my favorite community to be a part of and all I'm ever trying to do is make the theater community proud. And so when it feels like 
you are being recognized or honored in any way uh, by this community, it just feels like you're you're doing you're doing good by them, and that's that's what I'm hoping for. You know, I'm really grateful for Ben, who is kind of keeping me so grounded throughout this whole process. He's been through a before. He's reminding me to stay present, even though it's you know it's, it's easy to get kind of wrapped up in these big moments. Um, but it just feels like such a celebration of our community and all the hard work we do. You know, we all have shows tonight, so you know this just feels like a cherry on top. And we've got my wife to thank. It means you shouldn't underestimate Lucille and Leo Frank. Parade is a really complex emotional and historical journey, and so I really think it's my job to help the audience understand that all of these events really happen, these people really live, give them the sense of time and place, Ben Platt and Michaela Diamond, uh, bring our hearts along with our minds through this story. So hopefully it's this engaging journey for both your, your mind and your heart, and by the end of it, uh, you know, it, it really leaves you with a challenge. It's a great time to be on Broadway. I mean, the, the fact that we're back and almost every Broadway theater is full, it's such a full, rich season that it's it's great. We're thrilled about it. And hopefully more people come back and see that there's more stories to be told, uh, more feelings to be had, and, and just more theater to celebrate.